Hey, good morning. Um, some people have been asking me, what do you do for a living? Uh, I've talked about it several times in my videos, but you know, not everybody watches all 70 something videos I have. So there's another one about it. Uh, this is my hat collection. There's about 12,000 hats in our collection, a little bit more than that. We have, I think, close to 14,000 items in our eBay store. And um, I go out all over town. Um, I find things online. I find all kinds of stuff I can resell. And it's kind of morphed into mostly hats. I've got this huge hat collection. I don't know. I used to have an antique store with real antiques, you know, Victorian stuff. Stuff from the uh, 1800s, you know, furniture. Lamps, chairs, all kinds of stuff like that, you know, real antiques, real vintage stuff, and uh, just kind of morphed into this. There's a long story that goes with that, but I'll save that. Uh, this isn't where I personally would have headed. But anyway, um, this is where I'm at. I, I own hats around the world. If you Google it, just Google hats around the world, no spaces. Enter, it should be the first thing that comes up, eBay store. Uh, so, I'm up here looking for hats right now. There are items that sold, there's some other items that sold on here, like some, uh, some glasses. A bicycling jersey. Um, but the rest are hats. And... This person bought like this two, four, six, seven hats, and they're going to Thailand. Which is one of the reasons I called this hats around the world. We ship hats all over the world, mostly U.S., but uh, I guess I can put these up here. Yeah. Oh. yeah, I put these on the ground usually. So when I know what type of hat I'm looking for, if it's a trucker or a regular hat, regular baseball hat, what color it is, what kind of uh, snapback, if it's a, I'm sorry, if it's a snapback, strapback, or Velcro, uh, we'd organize them by that. And then I just go through the hats. Let's see, I'm looking for two in this one. The trick is to remember what which hat you're looking for. I think that was one of them. And I think that's the other one. Yeah. So I just go through them like that. Pretty sure those are the two I needed. Check. Yep. There's one over here. Let's see if there's this one. green ones which are here in the same place. Alright, so I look for that one. That's a trucker. Oh we can't see it. Should be in the green ones. And that one will be in the regular hat. All right, so two truckers. I'm gonna go look for those truckers. All right, and green hats are right there, so they should be in there. Farm credit system, Arizona machinery.
Yeah, it's probably not in here. That's it, farm credit system. It's probably one of the snapbacks that's So sometimes, when I'm up here doing this, I try to talk it out. This is like, um, it's like one of those memory games, one, like an app that you'll get. And you just have to memorize all kinds of different stuff. It's kind of, yeah, I try to do that with this, not memorize where every single hat is, but, uh, Try to, when I go through the row, look at them and remember kind of what's there. That and sometimes they'll come up and I'll go, "Yep, that one's right there." I'll walk right over to it and pull it out of the stack. You know, in a couple minutes per item with this, when you're shipping out 400 to 700 items a month, it's uh, it adds up. So this is a when you're doing something at the, at this level this many numbers of different things and this isn't really even a lot you know the people that sell the uh shipping materials and stuff like that send out like a million packages a month i mean a year something like that some crazy thing all right i guess this will be close to the end of this i'm i'm uh just up here looking for this hat i don't have a good place to put this all right, we'll see how long that stays there. All right, so that one. So when I'm up here, up high, I'll just stay up here and I can flip through these. So this is just one part of my job. This is, you know, after they are found, researched, photographed, or cleaned, photographed, listed, sorted, sold, <laughs> and found. Well, this is the found part. The returns, the just intentional off-the-wall questions from the uh, online stalking portion of my harassment all right well we'll just look at a fan blade for a minute sorry so anyway this is what I do maybe I'll even cut this video short here um, after I go through and find all these I go down and shit I'm getting sidetracked Go down, take the uh, stacks of flat boxes I have, turn them into actual boxes. <laughs> oh, there. Get those all taped up. Computer down there hooked up to the printer. If I go through these already, sometimes I'll forget which stack I went through. Yeah, I think I went through these. Hooked up computer. Make sure tape. Have pens to sign the international packages. And 
and uh, get started shipping and just get, oh, you can, uh, get plastic bags to put each hat in. So get the hat in a plastic bag, get it in the box, get it weighed, print the label out, get the label either taped on or uh, use the Dymo XL printer that just prints out a 4x6 label. Mine is messed up right now. Um, so I'm just using the regular 8.5 by 11 paper. Oh, hey, you can kind of see me over here. Uh, eight and a half by eleven paper. Print that out. Use a paper cutter. Cut your label real quick. Tape it on the box, and get it in the bag. I just have those blue IKEA bags. When you go to IKEA, they've got the big shopping bags. They uh, they use those at Goodwill. They, IKEA must donate them to Goodwill or something. But when you go to the Goodwill, um, bulk center I don't even know what they call it wholesale bulk leftover center they have these big bins you search through and everything anyway they give you those big blue bags there they're pretty handy to take stuff to the post office um, so that's what I do so I'm missing a couple points in there there's uh, there's all kinds of interesting stuff that happens we'll do this now I'll show you a little better uh, view of this place so these are the hats I found that are ready to be shipped out. I'll take those downstairs. These are ones that somehow like we couldn't find them and then we found them later. There's a really weird story that goes along with that that has to do with us not misplacing them. But anyway, uh, there's that's hats around the world. So, these are all the white hats over here. Got like white. It's hard to aim this thing when I can't see. All right. White, camouflage, gray. It's a few odd and in. Those are corduroy hats up there. These are kind of like specialty hats. Those are, these hats are worth like 50, 60 bucks. Uh, something like that. And then it goes by color. Snap back, strap back. Hook and latch. Can't say Velcro anymore. They're hook and latch. Some different uh, random, not random, but just kind of uh, odd hats. These are all like warm uh, or cold weather hats. And then cabbies, buckets, boonie caps, stuff like that. Comes around here. Yeah. Same thing, thousands of hats. These are the ones that need to go up on the shelf right now. I need to sort, put up here so you can see my beautiful penmanship baseball, basket foot. <laughs> <coughs> Basketball and football, of course. Auto, you know, stuff like that. All right, that's it. 15 minutes of the uh, hats around the world is enough. Take it easy.